My experience with large companies is mostly as an educator, as I feel sometimes that the difference between the kind of work that I do and maybe the corporate finance people like to do is they assume that everybody is actually ready to innovate. Uh, my role is to try and get the human capital, if you like, the people ready to become innovators and also to link people together because I'm a big believer in the so-called social capital, i.e. that if you know other people, you can ask questions much more quickly. So my experience has been with large companies, uh, actually some from Germany and companies like Microsoft and elsewhere, uh, is that if you want to try and get people moving on innovation, we need to put aside many fears. And one of the ways to do that is actually in workshops, intensive workshops with middle to senior managers on the issues they would face. Now, somewhat uh, controversially, I'm not a big believer in stage gate and innovation pipelines and funnels. I'm much more a believer in encouraging the randomness with which entrepreneurs operate out in the real world, where they're like a honeybee, if you like, or a butterfly, uh, kind of picking things up from here and there and assembling stuff. So we try to organize things in a very interactive uh, manner in, in companies, where we try to create conversations that have not previously happened. Uh, that would be the high-level description of it. And typically this might be around creativity, around idea recognition, idea generation and so forth. But equally, in addition to that kind of side of it, uh, managers also need to understand how to make an effective business case to their corporate finance people. Because without that discipline, it's just another set of random ideas that could happen in a bar or a pub or somewhere. So what I've discovered from that is what actually are the criteria that senior management themselves use to make decisions and assessments of, of things. So there will be internal hurdle rates that the companies have set, that corporate finance people have set. If you can't hit those, you can't hit those. Don't even bother trying. You need to find where the budgets have been squirreled away. Uh, large companies like Xerox in the old days used to have authorized budgets and everything would be authorized by the end of the financial planning cycle. So any unauthorized speculative money was completely unavailable, for instance. So one needs to find out as a manager how to get hold of budgets and where they exist so that innovation can take place in a fairly active manner without having to go into 12-month cycles of, uh, and things.